as we begin our season of Lent from today, Ash Wednesday that we come on break, I have three points that you can follow from the bulletin. In fact, I would like to start with what is Lent? The second point I want to, would like to discuss about that first. What is Lent? We all know what is Lent. Why do we have to ask ourselves what is Lent? But when I did some research, I came to know about a lot of things I would like to share with all of you today. Lent is an old English word. It came from the Dutch word called Lenten. Lenten. The Lenten means the season of spring. So actually Lent means season of spring. Sounds very good, especially when it is very cold outside in March. I just spoke to my friend in India this morning. He told me, the, sky, the sun is scorching bright there and it's already cost over 100 degrees. In some of the cities, 105, 106. Then he asked me, how much it is there? I said, don't even talk about it. <laughs> Especially I'm feeling very cold after my trip to Mexico. I enjoyed the sunshine there, you know, it was like 90, and here it is 20, and today it looks like 80. But season of Lent is season of spring. That's a new meaning. Sounds very good. Also, there is a German word that I located it. That's also called Lenz, L-E-N-Z. German word saying the same thing. You know, the meaning is the same. Spring. Anybody here knows? Uh, I mean, a lot of people know German here, you know. Okay, Laurie, you know it. So, let's is spring. In Latin, it's called Quadra Jessima. Season of Lent is called Quadra Jessima. That means 40th days. It gives a different meaning, 40 days. We just, you know, sang a song, 40 days and 40 nights. Jesus went into wilderness. And that's why we commemorate this 40 days, starting from Ash Wednesday. And this is a season of reflection towards us. When our body is weak or sick, we go to the doctor immediately. We ask for medication. Even a small sneeze, we immediately call the doctor. Doctor, I'm sneezing. Doctor will say, that we are right. I have most of the patients here. So that's how we take care of our body. But do we take care of our soul? Oftentimes we forget that we have a soul which is eternal. Body is not eternal. Body came from dust, it will go back to dust. That's why we use the ashes today. But the soul is eternal. The soul will go through eternal life. But how do we take care of our soul? This is the time appointed by our forefathers. Season of Lent. Just a season of reflection about ourselves. How are we behaving? How are we behaving? It is preparing ourselves to live a closer life with our Lord and Savior. To live a life which is pleasing in His sight. That's what we expect. You know, when we, when we have our children, we want our children to behave in certain manner, isn't it? We always tell them, hey, behave yourself. 
Anisha, behave yourself. Uh, my daughter's here. I don't tell her nowadays because now she is telling me, Daddy, behave yourself. <laughs> they tell our children every time that they are small, say, Nana, God is telling you and I. Children, behave yourself. Take care of your soul. As you take care of your, I'm not saying that we should not take care of our body. We should take care of our body. Because body is the temple of the spirit. We have to take care of our body. At the same time, during this time, you need to meditate more in order to take care of our soul, which is eternal. This is the season we have to replicate the sacrifice and the withdrawal that Christ did, leaving out the glory of heaven, came down and died on the cross in order to save you and I. Sometimes we call him as savior of the whole world. That's okay. But he is savior of mine. How many times do you think about that? He is savior of myself. for self-discipline, repentance, and self-denial. And that is the time of Lent, season of Lent. What is Lent? Is of the reason. Number two, what is Ash Wednesday? Why ash can be used? I just said when I put the ashes, I said that you know, you came from dust. You were created from dust. The wage of sin is death. And nobody can deny that. Nobody can avoid that. So the body came from dust. You will go back to dust. And that's why we use ashes. And where does the ash come from? Traditionally, when we celebrate Palm Sunday, they keep aside all the pots and then burn it and use it for the next season of Lent for the same purpose that we use it today. But unfortunately, we don't do that anymore. We don't burn it because it's a security issue. Fire alarm I mean, will go and fire people will come. So somebody else does it the same thing. The ashes that I used is again burned from the same forms that we use today. Somebody else does it for us and we buy it and we use it. So that's why we use ash. It's called ash Wednesday. Why Wednesday? Is there any significance of starting the Lent on a Wednesday? Why we call it, uh, call it as ash Wednesday? That is be just because the Jesus, you know, fasted for 40 days and 40 nights in the wilderness. And then you have to calculate from today till the Easter, the previous day of Easter, you should count 40 days. If you count, you should count 40 days. Excluding Sundays. You cannot include Sundays because Sunday is the Lord's day. Sunday is the resurrection day. The day of resurrection. So they don't add that. So the 40 days when you count from Wednesday till the Holy Week before Easter, it should count 40 days. That's why they start from Wednesday. There is no other significance to start on a Wednesday. Get it? So this is the beginning of Lent. Why Ash Wednesday? You all know, I'm just reminding. Some of you may not know. Most of you know it. So I'm just reminding. It's just a reminder for us why we have this season of Lent. And number three, fasting. In our gospel reading, it talks about fasting. How we should fast during this time. The fasting, 40 days and 40 nights, Jesus did not eat anything. He did not 
Can we do that? I can do that. I will die. So then how did he pass? Those who can, those who are able can pass. But those who are not able, there are a lot of other things that you can show the past to. I will tell you one by one. In Indian tradition, what they do, all the women wear flowers, jasmine, rose, and the thing they, they keep it here because they have long hair. They keep it here. During the time of Lent, they don't get it. Instead, they save that money to be donated to charity and to the church. They don't go for movies on those 40 days. So they save money. Some people give up non-vegetarian, give up meat. Usually, I don't. Uh, I give up meat during uh, Lent. A lot of uh, my church, my Emmanuel Lutheran church, a lot of people, including pastor, they give up uh, meat. Some people give up rice. I don't know how they survive. You give up something. My children uh, last year they gave up candy. If whatever is your luxury, whatever is that you like so much, you give up that and save money. Whatever you will spend on that, you save money and give it to charity or to the church. Some people give up smoking, drinking. Some of our luxuries, they give up during the season of Lent. Saving, giving. Saving and giving. Sharing is care. And this is the time we are supposed to spend the more time in reading Bible. Wherever you have Bible, one day one of the family is uh, called me to pray. I went there, I said, uh, okay, bring the Bible. I would like to read something and then we will pray. At that time, sometime back, uh, those days in India. So I went there. So, you know, they were uh, putting everything upside down in the room. I heard all the noise. Top, 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 top. I was waiting, waiting for a long time and then I said, hello, what's going on there? No, 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 just a minute, just a minute, we'll be there shortly. They were searching for their Bible. Okay, and finally they found the Bible and it was like, uh, you know, out of shape. They brought it to me and then in front of me they just put tap, tap, tap on the Bible. All the dust will, <laughs> the, the, the dust started flying. Then I started sneezing, sneezing. <laughs> somewhere untouched it's completely new or just turn your smartphone we have apps for mine turn your app and read time to spend the whole time in reading bible and on meditating right meditating upon the word reading is different meditation is totally different you read the bible even if you read completely 10 chapters then we don't understand anything. Or, you know, your mind is somewhere else. Just read, 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 completed all the, you know, chapter, but you don't understand anything because your mind is not there. Meditating is not like that. Meditating is that you put light on the word, prayerfully read something, and God will reveal new things to you through the same words that you have been reading for a long time. Every time when you read, God reveals a different meaning to you. God speaks to you through the scripture. Unpolitical scripture. 
but they have come spent more time reading and meditating upon the word during the season of Lent. There is a season for everything. More time in church and church related activities. How do we volunteer? How do we involve ourselves in the church? Not just a high life person. There are a lot of opportunities in the church that we can take up responsibilities and be more active in our membership in our church. That this is the time to take a decision for that. Spend less outside. Lavish dinners and avoid all of that. And save money and spend for charity. Set aside a portion of money that you usually spend. Go through your uh, budget and say, oh, this one I'm going to cut for this body day. And I'm going to donate this to a group of charity. These are all the things that can happen during the season of Lent. So what is Lent and Lent's Lent? What is an Ash Wednesday? Why do we use ashes? And why Wednesday we begin the Lent? explain about the fasting and Bible says clearly I would like to read the, the Luke 16th verse and when you fast do not look gloomy like the hypocrites for they disfigure their faces that their fasting may be seen by others I have seen how Muslims fast for 30 days I have seen I have some colleagues who are Muslims. They don't eat from the sun, sunrise to sunset. Don't drink it. And sun rises sometimes at 5 o'clock in the morning. And sun sets later in the day, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. So they don't drink or eat. They just, 30 days they pass like that. And even if they swallow their saliva, their fasting is gone. They have to do it study. They cannot even swallow their own saliva. That's how they do it. But how we can do it? It's up to us how we can do it. But as long as we are able to show a different type of an attitude during the time of Lent, God understands, accepts, and blesses that. So, as believers, and you and I, like, like you and I, believers, let us utilize this season of Lent for self denial, self repentance, and self examination, and take care of our soul like we take care of our.